Right now, I'm going to demonstrate the functionality of a DIY contact mic put through a simple Max for Live device. The device we're going to use takes spikes in the incoming audio and uses it to trigger a sample we've chosen from Live's file browser. Before we begin, plug your contact mic into your audio interface. Be sure the correct interface is available and selected within Live's audio preferences panel. Also, be sure the correct channel is selected within the Active Tracks Input Channel Selector drop-down menu. Set the monitoring tab to In and test the feed from the contact mic. Make sure the feed is active. Now, drag the device into the active track. Select the sample from Live's file browser and drop it into the field in the left of the device's user interface. Set the threshold for the sample trigger. Lower threshold will yield a more responsive trigger, while a higher one will require more emphasis in your technique. Let's hear the sample. From there, we can modify the sound using a simple bandpass filter we've included in the device. Engage the Filter button to the right of the filter graph. Now each time you trigger the sample, a random center frequency for the filter will be selected. You can determine how many random frequencies will be generated, as well as the minimum and maximum constraints for the range of these frequencies.